recording it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have, according to a university study, one third of Americans believe that the next five years will bring good times. So assume that 33% of the current population of Americans hold this opinion. P is going to be the proportion of a random sample of 800 Americans who are asked their opinion on this issue. And then we're going to go through this. So first, let's check the sample size. So NP is greater than five. So P, first of all, we'll put that in here. P is going to be this here, 33% of populations or of Americans that believe we're going to have good times. Q, we need Q. If P is 0.33, what is Q going to be? Good, 0.67. Okay, 0 0.33 plus 0 0.67 will give us the one there. So NP is going to be 800 times 0.33. And then NQ is going to be 800 times 0.67. So those are both greater than 5. So we're good there, 264 and 536. Okay, our sample size, 500. So let's go ahead and find this standard deviation here. So we've got 0.33 times 0.67 over, oh, that is not 500, that is 800, sorry. There we go, over 800, and then the square root of that. So what is our standard deviation? We can go ahead and you can put this in the calculator. Now you guys can see it. Parentheses, we've got 0.33 times 0.67. Close that parentheses because that's the numerator. And then divide by 800. Close that. And that should give you that standard deviation. So that's 0 0.0166. Okay, so next we have find the probability that the value of p hat is between 0.35 and 0.37. So we are looking at this, the probability that p hat is, let's see, oh, let me go back here, between 0.33 and 0.37. Okay, so we're going to convert these to our standard scores using our z-score formula, p hat minus p over the standard deviation of p hat. Okay, so for the 0 0.35, I've got 0.33 there, sorry about that. Okay, so for the 0 0.35, we're going to go 0 0.35 minus our p of 0.33 over our standard deviation of 0 0.0166. So 0.35 minus 0.33 divided by 0 0.0166. So our first z-score is going to be 1.2048. Okay, so if I put that on here, that is roughly here's 0. We'll say maybe right here. All right, and then our 0.37. 0.37 minus 0.33 over 0 0.0166. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that z-score. And that gives us 2.4096. So we'll say that's about right here. So this is what we're trying to find, this area in between here and we'll use our normal CDF function. So we'll go second vars, normal CDF, and then we've got 1.2048 comma 2.4096. And if you are using the 84, it's a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So that gives you 0.1061. Okay, and that is your solution for that one. Okay, and that is the probability, so about a 10 to 11% probability that 
um, 35, between 35 and 37% of the population believes the next five years will bring good times. Find the probability that less than 33% hold this opinion. So this is the probability p hat is less than 0.33. Okay, so if I take this 0.33 and I convert that into a z-score, that is, we'll go a different color here. Let's see. 0.33 is my p-hat minus p of 0.33 over my standard deviation, 0 0.0166. Well, 0.33 minus 0.33 is zero. So that's just this. So now we're looking for this area, and we can do that without a calculator because we should know this, right? What's this area here to the left of zero? Good. Okay, it's 0.5 or 50%. So we would answer that as 0 0.5. All right, and then our next one, we want the probability that p hat is greater than 38%. So p hat is greater than 0.38. So we would get the z-score for that. So 0.38 minus 0.33 over 0 0.0166. So that's going to give us 3.012. Okay, so that's going to be roughly, let's see, I think I can extend that, yeah. So we'll say that's about right here. And we're going to the right. So when I put this in my calculator, I'm going to go second VARS, normal CDF, 3.012, and then my upper limit is going to be 99, because I'm just going towards infinity here. So we're going to get 0 0.0013. Okay, so the probability that 38% of the population, or greater than 38% of the population, says there's going to be good times is uh, less than 1%. All right, now we have some problems. So let's go into those. 